Okay, so in this video, I'm going to show you how to assemble the king's chest piece. And we're going to begin by assembling the bottom base, which is circular. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take these two strips and you want your texture side up. What we're going to do is we're going to join these two together uh, using this triangular tab here. And we just want to make sure that we get it nice and flush up to that score line. So we're going to place some glue right on that tab and get that right in place and hold it down and make sure that it gets a good grip right there. Okay. Give it a second to dry and then what we're going to do and actually while you want to hold hold tightly where you just um, glued and kind of begin to train this a little bit so that it gets a natural roundness to it. Okay, so as you can see here, it's kind of forming a nice round little piece. And then we're going to join the other side, the same way we joined the first side, just gluing that together. I'm going to push and hold that down until it's nice and dry. Okay, and then what we're going to do is we're going to take the tabs on one side and fold them over. Okay, so this is kind of a tedious process, but in order to maintain the natural curvature of a circle, we do need to include all these tabs. If the tabs were any bigger, it wouldn't be nice and smooth. So go ahead and just take your time and do that. And the next thing we're going to do is we're going to grab one of these liner pieces. Okay, and there's two pieces like this and then there's another piece that's a tiny little bit smaller. It's barely noticeable as far as how much smaller it is, but there is a little L <clears throat> cut into it here to indicate that it's a liner. So what we're going to do in the way that this works is this piece is going to go inside and it's going to help with the shape of this piece here. So kind of get it in there, okay, and begin forming it. And then you can take it out and with this um, you can go ahead and just dab all these little teeth with some glue all the way around. Try to do it quick so that it doesn't dry and then we're gonna, just going to shove that liner piece inside real quick so that it can start forming this piece for us. And if you miss a few, it's not a big deal. It doesn't really matter which way it goes in because it's really not going to be seen. We're going to cover it up. So get that in there. Make sure you get it inside all those teeth. And then what I would do is I just take my finger, kind of work your way around it however you want to do it. You guys are probably going to find methods that work better. Do your best. To get that in there. While I was in the studio, I kind of thought about what else could we do to make um, these circular items come together better. So we kind of devised this liner and it's kind of like the liner we just use for this side here except that it's got holes cut into it so that you can get your fingers in there and glue the tabs to the top of it, like so. Okay, so um, we found it very helpful on the cupcake holder, the crown cupcake holder that's part of this bundle. And that really helped ensure that we got a good round end result. Okay, so again, I'm gonna go ahead and work on these, this area here. You just wanna place tiny little bits of glue underneath each tab. You really don't need that much. And it does help to have a fine tip applicator, which I didn't bring into the studio this time. I'm trying to use the standard 3M bottle here. And um, it really doesn't, it really squirts out more glue than I need for little precision areas like this. But you kind of just want to get your finger in there and glue each of these tabs to this little liner. And that's just going to help ensure that this piece uh, is nice and easy to assemble when you put the final pieces on top. 
And as you can see, I barely squirted any glue, but these tabs are so small that it squirts out. So you really just wanna use as little glue as you possibly can on these tabs. And again, this isn't, no one's gonna see this. So if this happens to you, it's okay. Just go around and get this glued into place all the way around. I'll show you what mine looks like when I'm done here. Now, another thing that you can do, since this piece is not going to be seen by anybody, just to kind of get these tabs in place better, if you have a glue gun, and I probably should have done this before I used the glue, it might just be easier for the sake of getting these little tabs positioned to just th take your glue gun and just line the outside of this thing with some of that glue from your tape gun, I should say. And I think it's just gonna make a world of difference as far as assembling this, because even with a precision tip, um, it's still kind of difficult to get just tiny little bits of glue in place. Okay, so as you can see, that just works so much easier to get those, to kind of just get them into place, you know? and get them to stick. Cause really the only, the whole point of this piece that I'm using right now is just to make that top piece go on that much easier. Okay. So I'm just kind of, I got my finger in there. I'm just going around, making sure that all these little teeth have a nice hold. Okay. Get them up to the edge of that liner as best as you can. Okay. So that's kind of what it should look like. Now, again, I had these three different methods of gluing um, just to kind of show you how to do it depending on which method you're planning on using. Now, all of a sudden this thing is giving me just the right amount of glue. And even then, it's still not a lot. But as you can see, time-wise, to get this little piece on, if you have a glue gun, I would use it because with each of these tabs, you still have to wait for them to dry, and that can become very time consuming for each of these little tabs to dry. So glue gun, or tape gun, I should say, a tape glider. I have a Scotch advanced tape glider here, and that thing pretty much rocks as far as getting these tabs to stay in place, okay? So that is actually pretty good. They don't need to be perfect. And then what we're gonna do is we're just gonna glue these right on top. Now with that, you definitely wanna use glue. But as you can see, because we used both liners, we're not worried about the wall of this thing caving in at all, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put glue on these teeth here and kinda smear it so it's not globbed, you want it to be kind of flat on these pieces so that it doesn't smear out. Try to get it out to the edge as best as you can because we want a nice clean look on the edge. Okay. This one was kind of smeared. Now I'm doing this one first because this one's probably gonna be the bottom. And as you can see here, it makes for cleaner assembly. Okay, and then what you wanna do here is just kinda run your finger along the outside of this just to make sure that everything is nice and flush and matched up. And as you can see, that looks pretty good. And I think that, that little liner piece that we kinda came up with is really gonna make that assemble a lot faster, especially if you've got a tape gun. Okay, so we're gonna flip it over and we're gonna do the same thing on the bottom. So just make sure that when you put this glue on here, that it's nice and smeared out and it's not globby. And this thing, I'm actually supposed to be getting something called the best glue ever in the mail today, or not today, but soon. I had a, a, one, of the, one of my customers actually tip me off to it and then I, reached out to the lady that owns the company. I, I don't have the name of it in front of me, but eventually when I do get the glue, I'm gonna test it out and see just how well it works. Oh, and by the way, for both sides, you wanna put a little bit of glue on the inside as well. 
and then go ahead and put your top piece on. And as you're flattening this out, work your finger like this to push the glue out to the outer edge so that we get a nice clean finished looking seam on the edge there. Okay. So there we go. Now that came out better than most, if not any round piece I've ever seen. It came out pretty perfect. So hopefully you'll uh, appreciate the new little liners that we have in there. Okay. So we're just kind of working our way up the piece here. And the next thing we're going to put together is this hexagon shaped piece. And that's actually a lot easier. It's always easier working with straight edges. Round stuff can sometimes be a little difficult to work with. So uh, rule of thumb, anytime you're working with anything that has score lines, always want to just score the pieces because it's going to help them assume their natural shape more easily and there'll be less resistance and that's going to give you a cleaner looking product. Okay, so we've got these two pieces. We want to connect them side by side. So we're just going to place some glue on this tab here. And this tab actually kind of messed up already. Let me smear that off. You want to put the glue on this side here because you don't want this tab to be visible. So we're just going to connect these two pieces like carts on a train and just push and hold that down until it gets a good grip. And I highly, highly recommend a fine precision tip for this kind of work. And then if you want, you can actually, if you fold this on top of itself, you can actually ensure that you have a really nice connection because these pieces should be pretty much flush. Okay, so we've got that. And then what we're going to do is we're going to connect the other side. And we're just going to put some glue on this tab here. Just kind of smear that around and get that glued into place. So again, you can actually take this and fold it down flat and align it that way and push down there. I'm kind of rubbing off that excess glue there. Give it a second to dry. Okay. And you can begin forming your little hexagon shape. Now with this guy here, kind of like the circle, we have a top and a bottom, and then we also have a liner to help us with the formation. There's no top liner because it's a lot easier to assemble these square shapes. So I'm just putting glue on the tabs on the inside. I'm going to take my liner piece. It's got a little L on it. And I'm just going to stick it in there and push down and get that glued into place. And it's just going to help us get a nice proper shape and form to this piece. We can fold these tabs over and that's what that looks like. So at this point, you can go ahead and put glue on these tabs. Try to get some out to the edge, but not totally to the edge because you don't want it to leak through and then put some glue on that piece there and go ahead and put that on like so run your finger across the edge of all this make sure that you've got a nice seamless fit Okay, and just hold that down, make sure it's dry. So whichever side ends up looking better, obviously you want facing up. So you've got kind of, uh, I think the one that I, the side that I just did is probably gonna look better. This side here is gonna be facing down, so I'm not overly concerned about it. I'm just gonna go ahead and glue this into place just to close it off. Okay. And now this piece here, this piece has the word dad on it. Okay, so there are some panels that are going to go on this guy here. So let me show you those. There are a total of six of them. Three of them have letters cut out of them. 
three of them do not. So you obviously want to put D, A, D, and then the blank ones. Okay, once you have those in place, you can go ahead and put glue on the bottom of this guy and just get him glued down nice and centered on the round piece. Okay, now you might wanna just put something heavy on top of it and put it off to the side while it takes hold. Okay, so I'm just gonna put that over to the side for now and we can move up. Okay, so next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna begin piecing together the different segments of the gray part of this thing. And first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna join these two pieces together. And like I said, rule of thumb, just make sure that you fold everything at the score lines just to kind of get these things trained and working in the direction that they will ultimately be set in. And we're gonna glue these two pieces together. Okay, so just go ahead and get those two joined together at the score line there. Make sure that it's nice and level at the bottom, nice and even. Give that a second to dry. And then we're going to connect it on the other side by repeating that same process. We're gonna hold that in place while it dries. And again, as I mentioned in the earlier piece, you can actually push that down flat to ensure that you've got the most precise alignment possible. Okay, so there's one of the pieces. So go ahead and just put that off to the side. Okay, so I'm gonna grab the next piece here and get that all scored and trained. And we're gonna begin putting this together. So you just want to simply put some glue on this top piece first and actually make sure that you get glue out to the edge as close as you can without globbing it too much. And then take this piece and do your best to make sure that you get it nice and aligned up to that score mark there. Okay, and then you can kind of bend it a little bit just to push it into place and hold it till it's dry. This piece here doesn't really have any tabs. This is gonna be used to be glued to the top piece here. And then the last piece that you need to connect is this piece here. So we're gonna put some glue on this tab here and get that connected. Just make sure that you get it at the correct angle, like so. Okay, hopefully you can see that. Make sure that you got that nice and aligned. Okay, so that's kind of what it should look like. Okay, so we're simply going to repeat that process all the way around until we get this thing closed up. And again, just make sure that you're grabbing these and scoring them as you go. Put some glue right on that piece and just get that glued down. Kind of bend it, make sure you got a nice seam, hold it until it's dry. Okay, and then go ahead and place glue on this tab here and get it right behind there and glued into place. Okay, so I'm down to my last piece here. And one thing that you're gonna notice is that it seems like this should kind of wrap right here and connect right here, but there's still one more piece. So what we're doing is we're just kind of bending this out. There's gonna be a little bit of tension there, but that's totally normal. And again, just make sure that you are scoring, or not scoring, but just folding all these pieces at their respective score marks. And do your best to get everything nice and perfectly aligned. So that was that piece, and now we're just gonna stretch this out a little bit to get this final piece connected here. 
So I'm going to go ahead and put glue on this tab here. And then get that in place. Make sure that we've got it nice and aligned as best as possible. Okay, and hold that down while it dries. Now this piece will mostly be covered up. Okay, and then finally, this tab here. My glue bottle is not being very nice to me today. And go ahead and close that up like so. Hold it until it's dry. So we've got a beautiful piece here. What we're going to do is we're going to take these tabs. We can just move them actually out of the way because we are going to need to get our fingers in to work on the next part of this. And that is going to involve gluing this piece to this piece. Okay. Now we tried to make this all one piece, but it just would not work based on the engineering. So we had to separate it, but it's not a big deal. It's pretty easy to assemble. So what we're going to do, and these tabs are going to get folded in like so underneath here. So we can just start with the first one here and just get the first one planted in. Make sure that it's nice and aligned because that's going to set the tone for the rest of them. So just ensure that you've got it nice and centered in there. So at this point, you can go ahead and you can turn these tabs in so that you can get some glue on them. Okay. And if it helps, you can actually stick your glue bottle in through the top and get the next piece in place. Just make sure that you've got it up against that score line there. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to assemble the top part of this. Okay, and that's made up of these pieces here. They're going to go in this direction. Now, as I mentioned before, just make sure that you get these all nice and bent at the score marks. Now this one's naturally going to bend in this direction. So this is the way that you want to bend your score marks. And what you want to do is, and it's a pretty repetitive process that you're going to have to do six times, uh, but it is pretty straightforward. You just want to make sure you take your time and get things aligned as nice as possible. So I'm going to start with the top tab here. I just squeezed a little bit of glue out and then I'm just kind of working some of it over towards the edge and as we squeeze down it will kind of squeeze and push the glue out to either side <clears throat> so just make sure that you're doing your best to get these two sides nice and aligned here and also watch the vertical score lines and make sure that those are nice and aligned as well okay so do your best Hold that in place until it gets a good hold. I'm kind of squeezing real tight to kind of help it. And then you can peel that back a little bit and put glue on the next tab and then just kind of work it out a little bit and get that other, get the next piece glued in place. Again, watch the score lines and make sure that these are nice and lined up properly. Even the smallest little error can throw this thing off. So do your best to make sure that everything is nice and aligned. Okay. And that looks pretty good. Give it ample time to dry. And then again, you can peel that layer back to expose the next tab and apply glue and then work it down towards the edge there. and get that next piece nice and even and lined up and just hold that down and let it dry Hopefully you can see that okay and move on to the next piece here and then work that glue down And just like that, we want it to be nice and aligned there. And just hold that in place. 
until it gets a real nice hold. Okay, and that leaves us with one more. Okay, so I'm just gonna peel that back. And I'm gonna put glue on this tab here. Okay, I'm done squeezing. Now I'm just kind of moving it around, trying to spread it out a little bit more. And push and hold that down. Now by squeezing it out in the center there and then just pushing it out with the tip, that's just gonna ensure that I don't get too much spillage and too much of that glue kind of squirting out, okay? So that is what it should look like, okay? Your piece should look just like this, okay? And you're gonna repeat this process one, two, three, four more times, because uh, there's a total of six sides. So go ahead and do that, and I'm gonna catch up with you as we go ahead and close this piece up. Okay, so this is what this piece is going to look like when you've got it all nice and glued together, okay? And at this point, what we can go ahead and do is, and actually, before we do anything else, we've got these pieces here, and we're gonna wanna put these on now because it's just a lot easier to work with this. Now you'll notice that this only goes on one way, okay? And if you try to do it this way, you'll see that there's kind of a gap up there, okay? And you don't want that. You want the, the thicker side up on this side. And what we wanna to do too, is we're gonna take this and I'm gonna grip it on, on both ends here and just run it across the edge of my table to kind of create a curvature to it, okay? That's just gonna help this thing sit properly. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna put glue on the top and we're gonna put glue on the bottom, like so. And you can get your finger in here to hold this piece down, okay? Make sure that gets a good grip and then go ahead and make sure that it's nice and aligned with the bottom part here and hold this piece down. And make sure you get it as centered as possible because we have to go all the way around. Now you see all those little gluey imperfections that I had are gonna get hidden away by this piece here. It's gonna make it, not only give it an appearance of it being round, but it's also gonna hide some of those imperfections as well. So that's what that's supposed to look like. It's looking really nice. So let me just show you one more. So I'm gonna grab this piece and I'm grabbing it like this and just running it along the edge of my table to give it a natural curve. And again, we're just gonna go ahead and put glue there and put glue here and line it up so that it butts up against that tab. You can actually take this tab and push it down. Just kind of use that as additional leverage there and hold both sides there until it gets a good grip. Make sure that the bottom here is nice and flush with the existing base of this thing. Okay, so there you go. You're gonna to wanna to repeat that process a few more times. So that is pretty much it for that piece. Okay, now I still, I don't wanna put the top on just yet because I am gonna to wanna to get my fingers in there because the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna glue this together, okay? So what you wanna do is you wanna put glue on this side of these tabs and glue them to the inside of this piece here. So I'm gonna do a couple, and then you can do the rest. So I'm just gonna scooch that over, get that nice and lined up, and I'm just, I have my middle finger inside there, pushing up against that tab that I just put glue on up to the inside of this, and I'm, I'm putting my thumb right here to get some added pressure, okay? And I found the first time when I was working on the original here, um, that it's probably best, well, don't put the top on to this thing because I found that 
actually was able to squeeze my glue bottle in here to place glue. You can see the tabs in there, hopefully. Well, probably not really because it's dark in there. But you're going to repeat that process and just put glue on those tabs. Okay, so I just put glue on the next tab and I'm using my middle finger here and my thumb to apply the pressure on that piece there. So that is what that piece is supposed to look like. Okay, and it came out really nice actually. Okay, so at this point, you can do one of two things. We can put the top on, okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and close these in, okay. And I'm gonna put glue on these tabs here and get them out to the edge. Okay, at this point I'm not squeezing anymore. I'm just using the tip to kind of push the glue around. So now I'm squeezing, now I'm not, and I'm just kind of trying to get it out to the edge there. Again, same thing there. Okay, we're gonna take this, this hexagon piece here, just lay it right on top, close up that hole. Okay, you might need to kind of scooch things around a little bit just to ensure that it gets a proper hold. Now, if you want, you can actually take a pencil or something and stick it through there to make sure that that gets a better grip. And then we have the little cross piece. And the way this works is you're going to glue the crosses back to back like so. And then that's going to get glued right on top. Now, there are also some um, some decorative um, panels that go on that cross. You can glue those on now or you can glue those on later, whatever you want to do, whatever's easier for you. Okay, so that is that. And now, okay, so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to add these additional little panels here. Now, we did this to sort of reinforce this piece since the top was um, two layers thick, we decided that we wanted to keep it consistent. So we've got these pieces here, okay, and there's six of them, and you just want to glue that on there, like so. Okay, and just make sure that you get it nice and centered. You're going to repeat that process all the way around, okay. At this point, once you have all six of them on there, we've got this panel here. And the way this works is this is going to get glued on like so. Okay. And it gets glued on just like that. Okay. So what I would suggest doing, and since this is already, well, the top is already curved, you can go ahead and put glue on this entire piece. Okay, just make sure that you get enough glue at the top and at the bottom so that it's nice and seamless. Okay, and just make sure that, actually I would probably start here in the middle and work your way out. Should be pretty much flush at the top. Just make sure that you've got it nice and centered so that you have a nice even border going all the way around. Okay, and then just hold that into place. Uh, once you've got that all set, yours should look somewhat like this. Now we do have these elements here that are gonna get glued into these areas. And actually, I believe that if you look closely, you may not see it, but there are little score marks on this piece that indicate where the bottom of this actually sits. Now with a pattern it may be difficult to see but know that it's there as a guide if you are able to pick it out. Okay and then as you can see we also added some bling to ours so you can definitely have fun with your rhinestones and all that but that is your top and we already have the base and the hexagon base so all that's really left to do is assemble 
the middle part of this, and that is actually pretty simple as well. So let's show you how that goes together. Okay, so the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna glue this piece together. And now I made a boo-boo while I was filming, so I had to pull this thing apart. But what you're gonna do is you're gonna put glue on this piece here, and you're gonna glue it to itself on the other side, just making sure that you've got it nice and aligned. And then there's a little strategy. You can put this thing flat, or fold it flat, and simply push down. And that's gonna help ensure that you've got a nice, you got it nice and perfectly lined up. Okay, so you can just put that off to the side and let it dry while we work on the rest of the bottom part. And that is what I've got here, okay? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab these pieces and just kind of glue them side to side. So we're gonna go ahead and begin by just gluing one to the other, okay? And squeezing, actually I'm just gonna do one at a time. I recommend, well in this case, we can do two since it's part of one segment here. So get these pieces nice and lined up. Make sure the top is nice and flush, that you've got both sides kind of nice and butted up against each other. And just hold that together while it dries. Okay, and then you can put glue on the next piece here. And get that glued into place. Just to make sure that you've got it at the right angle there. Okay. And hold that while it dries. And then that just leaves that last piece there. We can bend this back so that we can get our glue on it. So I'm squeezing out the glue and then I'm using the tip to kind of mush it around, get it out to that edge and tuck it back underneath and just glue that in place and hold it until it gets a good hold. Okay, and there you go. So that's what it's going to look like. Now you're gonna repeat this process one, two, three, four more times until we get this thing closed up. So go ahead and do that, and I will meet you at the end of this assembly. Okay, so we are nearing the end of the assembly of this piece here, and you know, the process is pretty much identical, but I did wanna show you the process of closing it up. So I'm placing glue on these two tabs here. And again, just wanna make sure that you're getting the angles correct. Okay, and just do your best. Hold that in place while it dries. And that leaves two tabs here. So since we're closing it up here and it might be a little difficult because of the tension to get our glue back in there, I'm just gonna get both of these going at the same time and then try to use like four fingers here just to hold that all in place at the same time and I made a little bit of a boo-boo there. Too much glue, but that's gonna get covered up as well. So probably won't even notice it too much. Okay, but that is how that works and that's how that looks, okay. Now again, here's a little liner piece and that's gonna go inside. And there's actually no bottom to this because we didn't want you to waste paper. So we left off the bottom because it's just gonna get glued to the bottom of or the top of the base pieces that we already put together. So I just put that liner in there, put some glue on the tabs, and that's gonna hold that in place. So just work your fingers around in there, make sure that that liner's got a good piece, 
or a good hold, I should say. And basically what we're doing at this point is taking and gluing this top part to that other piece that we just got done making. I'm just kind of redistributing the glue here to make sure that it gets a good hold. And just line that up as accurately as possible. And again, should have made sure that we bent this tab so that it's easier for us to identify where the score line is. Okay, so I'm just gonna apply some pressure there and hold it in place until it gets a good hold. Okay, and you're gonna repeat that process all the way around until you've got this thing nice and glued down. Now, I would recommend actually working to the opposite side of the one that you just got done gluing down. That's gonna help us ensure that things are nice and symmetrical. Okay, I'm gonna bend this back. So get a nice crease in there. Okay, so let me shove that back in there. And just align it as best as you can and as evenly as possible with the score line and that tab. And just hold that in place until it's nice and dry. Okay, and now at this point, because we've got those two in place, this thing's not gonna really want to um, open up anymore. So what you're gonna wanna do is bend the tab back. And as you can see in there, how we bent it back. I'm gonna bend it back a little bit more. And as long as you can bend it back and get your glue in there, just kind of smear it around, you can get your hand back in there and get that to glue in or glue down, I should say. So that's pretty straightforward. And I'm just gonna repeat that process until you've got all six sides nice and glued down. So it's kind of cool the way it goes together and it's just big enough to get your hand in there so that you can apply that pressure and come out with a beautiful piece here. Now I've got two more sides that I'm supposed to glue, but I'm not gonna worry about it because it's pretty much a repetitive process. And at this point, you can go ahead and get your little panel pieces out, okay? And these panel pieces are gonna get glued down just like so, okay? So we've got, we're, what we're gonna do is we're going to place glue in a few strategic areas, okay? So most importantly, we want glue on the bottom and we want that glue to work its way towards the edge. We also want glue here. And actually, you can go ahead and put glue on this entire piece and again, work the glue up to the edge of the top there as well. Okay, so what it's gonna look like is this. Make sure that that's nice and level. Push that down, make sure it gets a good hold. And then glue the bottom part down, make sure that gets a good hold. And just push down right in that area as well to make sure that that gets a good grip as well. Okay, we didn't put glue in any other area because we want this bottom section to kind of naturally curve. Okay, and I didn't hold that down long enough. But you get the idea, okay, and the process is gonna be exactly the same for all six sides. And there are some uh, of these pieces here that are gonna get glued on to your panel, okay? And I believe, and it's again, since this is a pattern, I believe it's hard to see, but I do believe that we actually added, yep, we did. There are little score lines there 
to help you with the placement of the bottom part of this piece. Okay, they're barely visible, but if you look close, you'll see it. Okay, so you're gonna glue those on there and embellish to your heart's desire. And then eventually, you're gonna place glue on the bottom of this whole thing. Okay, and that's gonna get glued down like so. Okay. And that's really it, actually. Um, and then your lid is going to go right on like so. Okay, and you've got your finished chess piece. This thing's pretty large, actually. Um, fit a good size gift. But that is it. Stay on top of all things Dreaming Tree and engage with us today. Get the latest news and enter in our giveaways on Facebook. Get inspired by following us on Pinterest. Be the first to see our new product launches on Instagram. Do you prefer Twitter? Yep, we're there too. Watch our beautiful product trailers and assembly tutorials on YouTube. For more information, visit www.3dsvg.com. Live, craft, love, and dream.